Uh, universal card. I love it. So that's just a follow up of what I just said to you. Find your sacred flow. By the way, you guys, I'm back today to my standing, uh, my old standby, the Sacred Creators deck by Chris Ann. Um, using this deck because my personal, my joyful deck is in the process of being redone. So I don't have it in the house right in my studio today. I have it, um, I have it in the house because I'm working on it. So today's universal message is find your sacred flow. And it is perfect. My guides gave me the absolute lead in from our love and learn. So find your sacred flow, find your masculine energy, find your feminine energy, find, you know, make sure that as you're working and getting things going for you and you're getting things done, also be in that flow of who you are, you know, self-care is not selfish. I've said that a bunch, you know, it's like me taking, you know, uh, two hours to get my nails and pedicure done today is not selfish. It is my time to just be chill, do what I need to do, and then keep going. And when I come out, just, just go right back to it. I am finding my sacred flow, how much exercise I need, what is the nutrients I need to put in the body? Mm, excuse me. Sorry, you guys got the burping again. That's the readings coming up. So it's ready. It's just find your sacred flow, okay? That's all you need to do this week. Find your sacred flow and just pretend. Wouldn't it be nice? What if you could pretend that you had enough time in the world to accomplish everything that you needed to do? Imagine how we would slow down and focus on what's at hand rather than getting busy and rushing. So, you know, here's a great thing. Just imagine what would it be like if you have enough time in your life to do all the things that are important to you. So then you can slow down and do them well and find your sacred flow. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I am going to do one last universal card. They're telling me to go ahead and pull. They're telling me that it's probably going to be a wrap up. It's going to be a full circle. Let's see what, let's see what they give me for full circle. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I have it. Remember, this is the card we get in this community every single time, this community of artists and creatives. This is like, this is our card, right? So this is it. Overthinking can spoil the magic, you know? And it's that beautiful pink, you know, which pink is still part of the heart. Even though the heart chakra is green, it also is associated with pink and love. So overthinking can spoil the magic. And so they're telling me to listen up because I've been so in my head because of this book, right? So it's like, it got me thinking about all these esoteric topics, even though it's not an esoteric book, got me thinking about that stuff overthinking spoils the magic. So what this is, it goes back to sacred flow, which was our very first card and it's the same colors. I want to bring it up and how they bring it full circle. Can you guys see this? They're the exact same color combination. Started out, sorry, started out with this one, find your sacred flow, end up with overthinking can spoil the magic. So all this is, is the guides just gave my team, the spirit team, just kind of put, not to put a too fine of a point on it, but that's what it means. It's like, find your sacred flow and trust. Trust that what you are doing is the right thing to do. Trust that you are taking right action for yourself. Trust that your heart is leading the way and that you are perfect as you are, okay? None of us are broken. None of us need to fix ourselves. None of it, right? We are perfect as we are, and we can always strive for excellence. We can always up-level, okay? You're either up-leveling or you're spiraling down, okay? We very rarely stay in neutral energy. So if you have the choice, and it is your choice, always, how you feel, how you react, what, what your emotions are, what you're doing is always your choice. So if it's your choice, you have a choice to spiral up or you have a choice to spiral down, okay? And you can do that gently. It doesn't have to be push and shove and force. The divine feminine is just as powerful as the divine masculine, okay? Being creation energy is incredibly powerful. Find your sacred flow and remember that overthinking can spoil the magic of that sacred flow, okay? Find what works for you. Honor yourself honor what works for you, and then just enjoy. You guys, life is meant to be lived, 
Okay. And yeah, we're all on a journey, but why are we in such a hurry to get to the end? What are we getting to, right? You know, what are we hurrying up to get there for? You know, we're going to be there. It's going to happen. So just enjoy the journey. Okay. Okay. You guys, I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for letting me have this fun conversation, you know, this divine masculine energy and the divine feminine energy and the dance and the creation story. And oh my gosh, we touched on so many things today. So thank you for letting me do that.